Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Cracky Linux latest version that is 9.4 on VMA workstation. First, download the Cracky Linux. Go to Cracky Linux official website that is rackylinux.org. Click on download. See here, we have the default image that is ISO, boot ISO, minimal ISO. And here, cloud images and here docker images okay and the last one desktop or workstation live images so see these are for 9 if you want to go for 8 you have to click on track linux 8 if you want to see the archived release like 9 or click on this see we have the versions from 8.3 to 9.4 okay click on dvd iso no need to download click on it See, download has been started. If you go to downloads, see, its size is 10.2 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded DVD IS. In your case, wait until download is completed. Once download is completed, then open VMware Workstation. If you want to install VMware Workstation on your machine, then go to the link provided in the video description and install it. VM, see, I have the VMware Workstation Player and VMware Workstation Pro. But the installation process is same on both VMware Workstation Player and Workstation Pro. VMware Workstation Player is free to use. As I told, installation process is same. Okay. Click on it. Now, home. Click on create a new virtual machine. This is the VMware Workstation Pro. But the process on VMware Workstation Player also same. Here also we have to click on. See. Here also we have to click on create a new virtual machine. See, we have to select the ISO file. Remaining options are same. Here, only option we have to change tip color custom. Then, remaining options same. Okay. So, to create virtual machine, click on create a new virtual machine. Next, then select or choose the installation disk image file. That is ISO file which we have downloaded. Click on browse. Then go to downloads. See, I have the Rocky Linux 9.4. Select it and click on open. Then click on next. See here, then we have to select the type of operating system. Type of operating system. The guest operating system type is Linux, then version. We don't have Rocky Linux from the list. So select the latest RHR 9. Then click on next. Here provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving Rocky 9.4 VM. Then choose the path to store this virtual machine files and folders. Let me create a folder here. Paste that. Then click on next. Then here we have to provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 100 gigabytes. Then click on next. See this is the summary of the virtual machine. If you want to customize, you have to click on this customize hardware. Like if you want to increase the memory, click on customize hardware. Then use this pointer to here. I am giving 4 gigabytes or else you can specify the size in megabytes. Okay. If you want to change anything, you can change. Suppose if you want to enable virtualization, you have to select this part. Then if you want to add other options or hardware type, you have to select here. So I just increased the memory and I have selected this virtualization. Then click on close. Then click on finish. See, until now we have created a virtual machine. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, click, select it here and click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Or right click and select the settings. Or select it on VM and select settings. All three options are same. So, to start the installation of virtual machine, we have to click on this virtual machine. Power on this virtual machine. Use up and down arrows and select the first option that is Install Rocky Linux 9.4 and, and hit Enter. Select the language and click on continue. See here, the begin station has been grayed out. Why? Because the see here, the colors with red color must be selected or filled. Okay. So, first select the software selection, select the server with GUI, 
or server only or minimally install or workstation or any options. I am going with server with UI. Then if you want to select any one of these additional softwares, you can select. Otherwise, click on OK. Then installation destination. I am OK with the default one, then click on done. Then we have to set these two options. Set the password for root account. So I'm giving the password. Then click on done. See now we are able to click on begin installation. Anyway, create user. Make this user administrator. Require password to use this account. Okay. Then provide the password. Then click on done. Now click on begin installation to start the installing. To start the installation of Rocky Linux 9.4, see the version is 9.4 on VMware workstation. So click on begin installation. See this may take time. I am pausing this video until whenever it requires manual inputs like reboot system, then I will resume. See installation has been completed. Now click on reboot system. Now click on username, then provide the password. Hit enter. No thanks. Let me maximize. See, this is the Rocky Linux 9.4. Click on activities, then open terminal, then verify the IP of this machine. See. This is the IP of the machine and if you want to verify the version of this machine more slash etc os hyphen release. See we have installed Rocky Linux 9.4. After that we have to update the packages sudo dnf update then provide the password of sudo user. Type Y for confirmation and hit enter. You want to increase the font, click on the settings option, preferences, then select unnamed, then select the checkbox custom and increase here, then select it, then close it. If you want to open another tab, click on this plus button. If you want to verify any Java version is installed or not, you give the Java hyphen hyphen version. See, you don't have Java, so if you want to install Java 11 JDK, you have to type yes, otherwise no. I will make another video how to install latest Java that is 22 on Rocky Linux. Type Y and hit enter. Updation is completed. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Rocky Linux 9.4 on VMware workstation, then we have performed the post installation steps. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.